The puck dropped last night on a brand new National Women's Hockey League. All four teams faced off against each other. The Buffalo Buttes took on the Boston Pride. And in Connecticut, it was the Whale versus the New York Riveters in front of a sold-out crowd. This is the first time that women will get paid to play the sport of hockey. So it's low pay, but the players say that it's worth it to be a part of this growing sport. So to give you an idea, the women make about $15,000 a year and the NHL minimum for a play around $575,000. So that is a huge difference but Allie they're just starting out there's only four teams in a very small league yeah and you look at the venue they're playing in not quite an NHL size arena so this is I would equate not that. quite <laughs> they're playing at the Chelsea Piers in Connecticut the Maple Grove Community Center <laughs> has more right seats at our ice arena I'm just you, saying you are correct it's they're just starting out it's like minor league hockey is basically yeah. what it is yes minor league men's hockey and that's about the typical pay for some of those men's leagues when you get into the lower levels it's 400 bucks a week to anywhere sure. to 1500 a week. And this is just getting started. I do think this is neat because we know here in Minnesota we have a lot of people, both young girls and mm -hmm. young boys, yeah. who love playing hockey. They grow up playing it, you know, either on the pond in their backyard or starting in those leagues really young. And it is neat, Jason, to see that, okay, like, sure, you're not going to be making a lot of money, but sure. there is that chance that that's your dream. Yeah, it's now an option. Look, n no one is going to say that this is a bad idea. I mean, it's great. We've seen uh, women's football league mm -hmm. star, professional football. We see all sorts of different professional leagues for women. The Lynx are fighting for a championship. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and I think you have women who play at the college level, and then there's no more choice. It's over. Especially if they and are so, training for the Olympics. Yeah. I, I know a girl who was training for the Olympics, and it was really hard for her just to get games in because she... How do you do it? Where yeah. do you play? And she still has to earn money and right, make a living right. and stay in elite level condition. The larger question is whether we are going to support these teams. I don't well, there are only four. Soon. Well, sure, there's only four, and there's 200 seats. And there like, are they're selling them few, out. There right. are quite a few East Coast women playing on those teams, but we which have, is good. We have problems. We have uh, the, the Minnesota Lynx are in the national championship, and this morning they're giving away tickets. Yeah, and I think that's what really and shows And some of you. that is they're trying to build up the excitement by mm -hmm. giving it away, but some of it is they're giving away tickets, mm -hmm. and you think, when will... We get to the point. The, the the quality on the court for WNBA is amazing. Mm -hmm. I just don't see it happening anytime soon. I think if we do have the quality like we have here in Minnesota and we have the links and we have this championship and we still can't get people in there, I think it's going to be hard to build up a new, very young league like this. Right. I mean, the men's sport. leagues have a hundred years head start, exactly. so you have to factor that in. Mm -hmm. And these women's leagues, for their youth, are mm -hmm. doing very, very well. Yeah. You didn't Good think I was going to come out and say this is dumb, did you? No. No. Okay. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not insane. I'm not on TV going to say, like, while you're doing weather. I don't think weather. anyone thought that. No ideas about that. All right. All right. All right. That's right. <laughs>